Survival. I'm here out on the property today to teach you guys a little bit about this uh, amazing medicinal plant called yarrow. Some of you may have heard of yarrow and, uh, and uh, you've probably seen it around. It's very, very common. It's these white flower heads here with the uh, fern, almost lacy-like leaves. Some of the large first year growth here. This is what the leaves look like. I'll get a, I'll get a good close up here in a minute. Uh, some of the things that you might use yarrow for, one of the most common things is that it's used to stop bleeding and its Latin name, Achillea mylofolium, actually comes from this property. The legend states that Achilles, the uh, legendary Greek warrior, used to take a poultice of the flower heads and he would rub that on his warrior's wounds in battle to stop the bleeding. And from experience, I know that this is extremely effective. Uh, I carry around a small dill, uh, a small satchel of dried up yarrow powder that uh, I keep in my, my first aid kit. Put that on all sorts of cuts, put it in teas, just hundreds of different uses. So uh, I'm going to get a close-up of this stuff and explain a little more about it to you. Here's a close-up of the flower head for you. Each flower is actually a lot of tiny flowers in the center, surrounded by the white petal-like modified leaves. There's going to be five of those petals, and they each have three teeth on the end. This is going to be in the second year of growth that you get this stalk coming up out of the plant. We'll follow the stalks down. These get about one to three foot tall. If you'll notice the structure of the leaf, lacy. People have described it as somewhat fern like. I definitely see where they can get that. The first year growth won't have the stalk, it'll just have these leaves coming out of the ground. We have some unusually large. Yarrow out here on the property. The uh, the dirt out here is near magical for this stuff. And this is what you're looking for when you're out here looking for this plant. And to harvest this, I'd simply take these stalks. Uh, you can harvest some of the first year growth. The most potent stuff is going to be in your flower heads. This one here hasn't quite opened yet. I'd wait for them to open probably a little bit later in the season to right now I'll start I'll start harvesting some of them and you take these stalks and you pull them out of the ground by the root and you hang them upside down and that causes all of your oils to run down into the flower head and making it even more potent and then you would just uh, grind that up using whatever method you choose prepare poultices salves put it directly onto your wounds this plant is an absolute miracle. Now this stuff isn't only for cuts, guys. Uh, it has some great expectorant, analgesic, and um, sweat-inducing properties that make it great for colds. It's also good for fevers, anorexia, internal bleeding, tons of different stuff, guys. And you'd make a, make a tea out of the dried flower heads by, by hanging them upside down to dry, like I've described. Um, you use the leaves. You can also use the root. The, the most potent medicine is going to be in the flower head. There are over a hundred biologically active compounds in this yarrow plant, 12 of which are known anti-inflammatories. This stuff is just great, guys. Uh, several Native American cultures just knew this was medicine. So when you're looking for medicine out in the wild, this is one of the best things that you can get by far. If, uh, if you like learning about yarrow and you want to learn about other plants, we do offer a wild style, wild plants course 101. We break it down and teach you most of, the, uh, most of the useful edible and medicinal plants in the area. So go ahead and go check that out on our website. If you like the video and you like learning these things, click like and subscribe. As always guys, thanks for watching.